Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you what this Dell E2 is and how we can start to use this very, very great application. Now, this is an artificial intelligence system that can create realistic images and art like all of these examples uh, from a description that we asked the website, the platform to do. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down so you guys know what I'm talking about. I can explain this a little bit more faster and easy. So if I have access to this application and I go into the test description and I say to the computer, I need a bowl of soup that looks like a monster on a wall spray painted. This is how the application is working so it's going to be generating me something like this and of course I might be having more and more alternative versions of what I've just asked for so if I ask for the same thing a ball of a soup it looks like a monster but I want to see this uh, knitted out of wool then there you have it I have this option but I do have some more alternate versions of these examples so this is a great, great tool. This is totally for free. Of course, this works using credits. We do have monthly free 15 credits. I'm pretty sure of that. But if you want to earn more credits, if you want to buy credits, you can do that as well. So with that being said, what I want to do is to start using the great, great application of Delhi number two. Even we can expand images beyond what is in the original Canva. For example, this a uh, professional and amazing painting what the application does is to expand the image based on what is painted what has been taken out from the from the actual and here i can do of course edits so here's the original image and let's say that i choose this part of the image and i go for i want to see a flamingo here and boom, the flamingo has been added. But if I don't like this option, I can see more alternative versions. So you have this option, this option, or this one, or even this one. Or I can just choose the, let's say number two, I want to see that into the pool and I want to see different variation of what I'm seeing here. So um, I do have a lot of other options there, but we don't want to focus into the examples. We do want to make this for ourselves. And lastly, we do have some variation of something that you just sent it. So if I created some images, if I added a painting that was already created by me, here is a variation from Dali number two. This is something else, this is something else, and this is something else. So I can import my own images and look for more variation tools, which I think it's really, really awesome to do. So now that you guys know how does Dali number two uh, uh, works. I'm going to go into sign up. This is something uh, really, really easy. We want to create an open AI account, whether you want to use a Google account or a Microsoft account. In my case, I want to use a Microsoft account because I already have an account created here into open AI, which is the platform, which is the company that actually works, runs the Dali number two. So what I would do here is to quickly just sign in. I'm going to choose yes. I'm going to just close this for a second, the pop-up section. And once you do have your account, it's going to be appearing something like this. So if you clicked in here, you might see that you have a few credits. So as I just told you, we do have 15 credits uh, totally for free each month. So I have 15 credits to use until the January 13. So if I use these credits, I'm going to be earning more credits but by January 13, so I need to be really, really careful for, uh, for what I'm asking for. So um, what I want to do here is to go into the buy credits and you can see how much does the credit cost. So that would be 115 credits for $15. I think it's really, really low price, right? So I'm pretty sure that this is just like one, $2. But if you want to buy that, you can do that. If you want to just wait, like myself, to get some free credits, you can do the same thing. So what I want to do here is to go into Delhi. I'm going to show you a few generating stuff that I created myself. And here, as you can see, here's the history 
of what I created so far using my account. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down and as you can see, I used an image of an astronaut. This was the original one that I draw into my iPad and I upload it into DALI and I asked the computer to make some variations of the same thing, but with different, um, with different tools, with different sketches, with different technique of painting or how it's going to be looking. So it's going to be, it was, this, this was the answer of the computer. I loved this version. So I asked like an astronaut helmet mirroring the stars and constellations. And this is what the application created for me. So what I want to do here is to do the same thing today using something totally new. So here in Tudali, I do have the text section. And here, let's say that I want to use, I want to create something totally new so you guys know how this works. And let's say if you guys, guys are convinced to working here in Tudali. So I'm going to choose a cyberpunk um, style image. Let's see what does the computer is going to be creating for us. So here I have a tip and here I have four images of what I just asked for. So here I do have a cyberpunk style image of a pursuit scene at midnight. So I do have something like this. I want to go and see like a few variations. I think what I want to do is to be a little bit more specific. So I say a style image of a police cause in a pursuit scene at midnight. So I want to do exactly the same thing. Uh, the more descriptive and explicit I am, the better. So let's see what does the computer has to create for us. I think like for me, the first or the second option is actually really, really great. So as you can see, I do, I, I can see um, the image of the police guys, the cops. I think this one looks great, but I think I don't like a lot of the variations. Here is something else and here is something else. Now in my case, I do kind of like just the first option, but I want to see some variations of what I liked it already. So I'm going to choose my option and I'm going to go for variations. So what does the computer is going to be doing here is to generate a few variations of the image that was already created, generated by the description that I just made here a few seconds ago. In this case, in my case, I want to select the last one and I want to go into edit because I'm going to be showing you something really, really awesome. I do have 12 uh credits yet so i want to go into add generation frame and here i'm going to choose this option and i'm going to do exactly the same thing so once i do have successfully created something like can be really helpful i think like we're going to stick around with the latest option hitting to accept and i can just download my image and i'm good to go really really awesome application right so there you have it guys, it is really really great application so we can start working in here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more information about this great great application. Thank you so much for watching this video, have lots of fun, uh, but just consider not to spend everything in just one day. So there you have it guys, thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one.